thing wobbing. What is going on guys? It is Zerksmish Day with another YouTube video. Today we have Ultimate Legends Randy Moss and also Ed Reed. Now we also have a limited time legend which is Willie Lanier. Which I don't understand why they didn't just make either Randy Moss or Ed Reed the Ultimate Legend. Definitely would have sold more packs. But at the same time I'm not really too mad because this just means we're going to have more Randy Mosses and more Ed Reeds available to us. And definitely be able to get them eventually. So... Ed Reed has pick specialist chemistry, and it looks like Randy Moss has playmaker, so I kind of wish that he had maybe unfakeable, but I guess pick specialist would just have to do one Ed Reed, but if you take a look at the set, of course, all of them are going to be Ravens. They didn't get many Jets or Texans cards, and unfortunately for any of you guys over there that are fans, but he is a 95 overall, 94, 92, 91, and 89, and I'm going to suggest that's the same thing, or just suppose, that's the same thing in terms of Randy Moss, so he is a Raider, 89 overall, two Vikings, or actually three Vikings, and also a Patriot, 94 overall, so definitely... You know, it, it's Randy Moss and Eddie. These cards are going to go for a ton if you end up pulling them. Now, also don't forget, guys, to do this every single week. So today, we'll probably get ourselves a Randy Moss, probably. Uh, it really doesn't matter who we get because we're just going to throw them in the set. But three weeks from today, you'll be able to get yourself an NAT 97 overall legend, which, by the way, if you guys noticed when the set first came out, it didn't say NAT. So they actually changed it to say NAT, so you guys wouldn't get your hopes up, unfortunately. But still, an NAT Ultimate Legend... That's still pretty good, if you ask me. I mean, if you take a look at all the Ultimate Legends that we have, right? Ken Houston, Steve Atwater, Derek Brooks. There's only, like, a couple that I wouldn't want, which, of course, would be Derek Brooks. And then I wouldn't want to get... I mean, yeah. I guess just Derek Brooks. Or, I mean, Jerome Bettis as well, just a running back. Or Derek Brooks, because I run a 4-3 defense, so I don't want to... Or I run a 3-4, so Derek Brooks would not be good in my scheme. And then, of course, Jerome Bettis. I already have LaDainian Tomlinson and Zeke. I mean, I guess I would use him at a pretty good backup. Which I wouldn't be the most mad at. Warren Moon. If you get Warren Moon as your NIT Ultimate Legend, you're kind of stuck with him for the rest of the year. So that kind of sucks, to be honest. But I do have Warren Moon right now, so if I got him as NIT, I could sell mine and just upgrade my team somewhere else. So, not the absolute worst thing. Then we also have the weekly trade-in, which, of course... Five gold tokens get you an 88 to a 95 overall player. And just in case you guys haven't seen it already, Chemistry 101 did come out yesterday. I'll have a video coming out later today as well, showing you guys all the tier 5 stats. But as you guys can see, 94 overall auction more 96 and 80. I'm going to be grinding the hell out of these. And I actually think that I have the, yeah, so I have to move the sticks for, I think, all the way up to tier 3 so far. But I'm going to be playing basically all of these trying to get all the way up to Demarcus Lawrence because I want to get him the NAT version. Because that 96 overall, once you get him to the tier 5 reading react that is now out, he has 99 power move and 99 pursuit. So that is just absolutely insane for a defensive man. And I'm, I think he's going to be like a 97, 98 overall. I know if you get him maxed out with, I think it's blanket coverage. I, no, maybe it's not. I think it's... um. If I can see which one it is, I do believe that it is, where is it at? Oh, it's physical front, that's what it is, I don't have any physical front on my team. But it gives him like 99 block shit and I think power move as well. So, not 99 power move, but it gives him really good block shit. And then we have some new packs in the game, Ultimate Legend Fantasy Packs. Contains four go to better players and one elite player, including one guaranteed Ultimate Legend option. And of course, the bundle gives you four of those and a top contain a 93 94 raw set ultimate legend so not the absolute worst set or not the absolute worst thing but we're actually gonna be having some mud draft champions rewards coming out on wednesday as you can see that is just a terrible record but you guys need to make sure that you get yourself as high as you can because right now right you can see i'm gold four so the ranking system there's usually five stars in every category so i have to get through gold five which probably two wins give me to that and then I have to get the elite tier. Now, I actually have, if you get to the elite tier, for this for this month, it's actually pretty dang good. So the bronze tier, you get five tickets and one gold player pack. Silver, 10 tickets, three gold player pack, and five coin, five K coin quick sell. Gold, you get 15 tickets, three gold player packs, and an elite player pack, and 10K coins, which is what I would give right now, but I'm super close to elite. And then the elite, which is just insane, 25 tickets, so that's, you know, a ton of tickets, 25 tickets, that'll make you, you know, be able to play five times, plus if you guys look at the new reward system, 
when it does drop three or four wins you get your tickets back so honestly you could if you're decent you get three or four wins every single time you're going to be able to just keep playing over and over and over again you don't have to buy tickets again five gold player packs and three legend fantasy packs with a twenty-five thousand coin quick sell that is definitely why i want to do that and get those legend fantasy packs and i'll save those for a video of course but we also have draft champions they're not draft champions but much champions this weekend aka weekend league and as you guys can see it's not looking too hot so far now i have to say this i started off pretty decent then i won a three game lose streak and with that being said i actually fell asleep during the third game so last night i was up pretty late probably about three o'clock was not playing that good at that early morning definitely could not do that at the early hours of the morning but let's go ahead and take a look and see if we can find the limited time o2 legend up in the auction box but first of course I'm going to open up a couple gold player packs and see if we can get ourselves anything lucky. I am pretty close to getting myself uh, Ladanian Tomlinson up to a 98 overall, so definitely excited to see that. We have four gold player packs. Let's see if we can pour ourselves that Willie Lanier. Probably not. You guys know my pack luck as we get an 83 Willie Sneed. Didn't even get you know surprised about that elite pull because I knew it was not going to be him next pack but i'm super excited to see 96 to marcus lawrence on the squad of course we also have the 99 overall boss battle players which we're going to be getting pretty soon i think in a couple weeks here as we get kenny Britt and jelani jenkins here but i'd rather have demarcus lawrence to be honest over two tall jones and i mean if i go with the nat version of the marcus lawrence how many golds are we going to get in this pack jesus what is up with this man's hair looks like some gummy worms on to the last pack we're going to get here Come on, EA. Give me a good elite. Give me at least one good elite, please. Ah, 77 mini Curry, the man who may be traded. And speaking of trades, what in the heck is up with the Browns? How are they finessing everybody out here? They got themselves Demarius Randall, Tyrod Taylor, and Jarvis Landry. And the most shocking of them all is the fact they were to get Jarvis Landry. I think it was like a fourth and a seventh. Are you kidding me? I understand that you have to pay a big amount for him, but I feel like as soon as he comes into Cleveland, the Browns are definitely going to be trying to sign him to a long-term deal. And since they have Tyrod Taylor to throw him the ball, I don't think he's going to be as mad now because if I was Jarvis Landry, I would be heated. Then I was going to the Browns of all places, but now they actually have a decent little quarterback and they could possibly still get one in the draft because they don't know if he's going to be their franchise QB that they're looking for. So definitely going to be interesting to see what the Cleveland Browns are going to do there. But let's go ahead and see if this guy is up now. If you take a look at the ultimate in prices, still looks like Kellen Winslow and Jerome Bettis are the two cheapest guys. Then we have Steve Outwater, who's actually down to 320k. Paul Kraus is, or Paul Cross is down to 383k. Eric Allen, 4 to 12k. And yes, it doesn't look like they're going for too cheap now. They're still pretty decently expensive. And of course, we do have Mike Vick still over, you know, 800k or so. That's definitely not too bad. But let's take a look and see if the Ultimate Legend, the limited time cards are up. I think it's a middle linebacker, Willie Lanier. And I don't think that he is up yet unless he's a 98 overall but i'm pretty sure he's just a 90s oh he actually is a 98 okay so we have 98 overall willie lanier hot hands chemistry 91 speed that's actually pretty good he's six foot one two 97 awareness 97 tackle 97 play rec also has a 90 block shed 97 pursuit 92 zone 96 hit power with a 94 acceleration he also has a catching of an 82 and a jumping of a 91 so he's definitely actually a pretty good user card but for the price, I mean, if you're looking for an amazing middle linebacker to just go by himself, does have 92 zone, 91 speed, great tackle, great awareness, great play rec and pursuit. But if you're looking for a user card for cheap and not, you know, a million coins, then I would just go with like a Ryan Chase here or Deion Jones. But at the same time, you want to get yourself Willie Lanier and spend all those coins? Go for it. Now let's go ahead and see if we can find Ed Reed or Randy Moss up. And it looks like actually both of them are up already. Dang, somebody must have got really lucky and pulled these guys. But Ed Reed is 96 speed, 95 excel, 97 play rick. Only a 77 tackling though, but a 88 man, 98 zone coverage. That is crazy. 97 pursuit and a 92 hit power. Also has a 91 catching. And he has a jumping of a 95, his 5 foot 11 block shed of a 72, and a stamina of a 98. So definitely a pretty good looking ultimate legend there. 
And then finally, we have Randy Momo Moss. Take a look at him compared to Calvin Johnson. 97 speed, 97 catching, 94 looseness, 98 spectacular catch, 98 release, 97 route running, and a 92 catch in traffic with 98 jumping. So, if you're going to go with any chemistry for him, um... I guess go with whatever chemistry boosts catch and traffic because you don't, I mean, unless you want to really go, you know, spec catch, you can go go deep and boost the spectacular catch up to 99. But of course, with the tier five, you're going to get like plus four spec catch and you can only go to one. So I'll just go whichever one gets him the catch and traffic to try to get that up, make him more a little more balanced, you know. But Rumlock, he has a 55, which isn't the absolute best. Of course, is a 94 spin and juke and a 48 impact block. So honestly, guys definitely the best round of ultimate legends we had so far so definitely congratulations to ea or just shout out to you for doing this because i really didn't think that we would get this good ultimate legends after the week we just had we got ed reed randy moss and willie lanier so if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button subscribe and comment and i will see you guys next time